What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. So I just did a short. And Nina's not on my sleeping on my hand anymore, but I just did a short. Basically, the message was um, but something about somebody is in a flow state and keep going because you have um, there have been lifetime. This is this has been going on for lifetimes. So There's something that's been going on for lifetimes. So let's see what's going on. The chariot. Yeah, keep going. The fool. Yeah, keep going and and um. There's some sort of a new beginning that's taking place, but there's also, um, like, who you are, you're very original. Like, your path is very original. Your path is very, um, like, I'm seeing the Seven of Swords, which oftentimes can be, like, somebody who's a master of one's field, because in the Seven of Swords, there's only one person in the field. Um, so, like, I feel like that's kind of what Spirit's telling me. Whoever you are, you're a master in your field. But what I'm also hearing or saying is it's something, okay, I'm hearing Return to Innocence. So, like that song, yeah, Enigma, I'm hearing Return to Innocence. Um, so maybe somebody also needs to look up that song. There's 111 on the clock. I'm also hearing Sia, Chandelier. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight, on for tonight. I wanna scream, wait, I... Swing from the chandelier here, the chandelier here. Yeah, whatever. So it goes like, that. sorry, Nina. <laughs> Nina's looking at me, but uh, okay. So, but there's something about um, returning to innocence and or re retaining your childlike innocence coming into that. There's something about, okay, now Spirit wants me to look at my bracelet. Okay, we've got the star card in the reverse position. So it's like, yeah, don't lose hope, okay? Because it's like help is right around the corner. Four of Cups. Maybe somebody needs to meditate a little bit more. Maybe somebody's feeling a little discontent. Or maybe somebody's feeling rejected also. I think somebody feels, okay, what I'm hearing is that somebody has often felt rejected their entire life. Don't reflect that outwardly into your um, reality, I'm hearing. Interesting. Something about what I'm seeing, you guys, in... Oh, God, this is really confusing. It, it, what I'm, I'm, it's very difficult for me to be able to explain a lot of the things that I've been seeing lately, you guys. Um, but what I'm seeing is... Um, Let me see if I can pull more cards. Maybe I can track my memory, jog my memory, and just kind of try to figure out, like, get the words for it. What else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. Something about coming, returning to innocence. Okay, that's, I mean, I would say that that's kind of that conjuring the light and coming back into the light of oneself, which is very difficult to do after any sort of shadow work. Maybe somebody is doing some shadow work, but I feel like, honestly, somebody's out of the shadow work and or and into the manifesting portion of it this you guys remember that all of my readings are general readings little bits and pieces may resonate with you little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else okay the entire reading may resonate with you it might none of it may resonate with you okay and um but just obviously only take what resonates and um you know sometimes these can also just be like good anecdotes and sometimes these are on the astral plane it's not always in the physical reality where these things are happening but this is pretty clearly i think i would say happening in the physical um there's definitely something about willpower and just being able to move through but i also with the chariot card here it's like divine is helping you to move through like there's no way that you will not triumph and and maybe that's what there's somebody's okay so somebody's like in a flow state it's almost like somebody feels like they're in a flow state but really what this is is it's like the the universe is taking control and is trying to help you progress further maybe somebody said something like i give it to god like god just take the wheel god please help me and and god really did take the wheel so you kind of went into a flow state so have faith in this flow state have faith in this journey okay um either way you're going to have a triumph either way you're going to have a victory and something is going to lead to a new beginning um i feel like in a past life there were more risks involved in whatever this is this is some sort of a generational healing that's taking place or some sort of a karmic cycle that's being closed out 
maybe somebody has called the karmic justice on a, um, well, I just heard somebody called karmic justice a facility. Somebody called karmic justice. What does that mean? The sun card, success, rewards, prosperity, victory. I feel like that's the reading, you guys. I just wanted to kind of tap in and just do a really quick reading and just kind of expound a little bit on that little short that I did earlier. Um, but somebody was discontent. And somebody in their discontentment made you feel rejected. I'm also hearing don't go back. Drink up, baby doll. Oh, my you in or are you out? Leave your cares behind, cause it's all going off. Drink up, baby doll. Drink up, baby doll. Party girls. Du, du, du. Okay, so in the song by Sia and Chandelier, and the song Let Go by Fru Fru, which are both two songs that I have stuck in my head all the sudden, all of a sudden, and the parts that I am singing in my head are "Drink Up, Baby Girl" and "Party Girls." Da da da. Something about she says, "Throw them back" or something like that. So maybe somebody is um. Maybe somebody's drinking too much. Somebody needs to stop drinking alcohol to kill the pain I'm hearing. It's to kill the pain. You just got to get out of your head. You're mentally strong. You're, you're so mentally strong and so much more mentally capable than you understand that you are. And honestly, if you're drinking, it's, it's, that is creating, that is making a disadvantage. That is today. It's what I'm hearing is, is it's like somebody is, so, okay. What am I hearing? Okay, you, I don't, it's like you're not at a disadvantage, but you want to give yourself the most advantage that you can, and, and when somebody is drinking and not sober, what I'm also hearing is that somebody can't remember what happens when they are drinking. And it's important for you to be able to remember things, uh, to be able to hold people accountable, I'm hearing. Okay, somebody's in a really bad situation, though. For real, like, somebody's really in a bad situation. To be able to hold people accountable. But it's honestly, because what I'm also hearing is, it's like, you don't even necessarily, somebody, and hold accountable, I'm hearing, like, yeah, somebody needs to vocalize and hold somebody accountable. Somebody needs to speak the fuck up. But I'm also hearing that somebody can't speak up. Somebody has, but somebody still needs to retain or, or keep a high frequency and conjure the light to, to be able to hold somebody accountable on the spiritual plane, so to speak, like by witnessing. Okay. So you still have to, I'm hearing don't give in. So it's like, don't give in to the, like, don't give into the darkness. Somebody knows, somebody has a good moral compass. Somebody knows exactly what they're supposed to do and what they're not supposed to do. And for some reason, somebody's doing exactly what they're not supposed to be doing. And I don't understand why this is what I'm, this is what I'm hearing. Okay. This, this reading just got hijacked. I'm sorry, you guys. So we're just going to kind of keep going. All right. What else? Spirit ancestors of highest white light. I hope that this is helping somebody. Okay. But there's something about it. Somebody just, you need to keep going. You're going to, I mean, but somebody needs to stop drinking alcohol. Okay. And maybe somebody's drinking because they're bored. The four of cups. Or they're discontent. Okay, so somebody's drinking because they're dis they're discontent. And somebody is drinking because they feel rejected. There might be like a couple. This is a very toxic relationship dynamic if this is a couple. This is this sounds like it's a relationship dynamic that is not built on love but it is a relationship dynamic that is built on like a trauma bond. It's a karmic, two karmics mirroring each other in some regard. Um, that's, that's where the reading is going. You guys remember that not all of the reading may resonate with you. The beginning may have resonated with you. The ending might be a little more specific to somebody else. Okay. So I'm, I'm hearing and seeing pyrite might be good for somebody. 
um, you know, fool's gold. Pyrite, pyrite is uh, fantastically grounding and um, it's just wonderfully grounding, okay? And it, it can also help to bring some abundance too. So I don't know if like somebody is also like working on their money or something like that. This last part is getting very specific, or this, this, that, that little section there, that last three minutes was very specific, you guys. So if that's not part of your story, that's not part of your story, but that is somebody's story. So just, uh, you know, what else, spirit, ancestors of the highest white light? <clears throat> I think that that's it, actually. I think that that's the reading, 1044 on the clock. Um, okay, I'm just... Yeah, that is the reading. There's nothing on the bottom of the deck. I don't know how that happened. So, ooh, what is this? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. New love, a proposal, an offer of marriage, a new relationship. The Seven of Cups can be... The Seven of Cups can also be... Um, Okay, this is what I'm getting at. Whoever you are, you have a lot of options. I feel like whoever you are, a lot of people fantasize about you as well, okay? Whoever you are, I think that you have visions. You need to follow those visions, okay? Somebody also needs to protect their sacral chakra because if somebody is an empath and some people are fan, if you have a lot of choices and a lot of these people are fantasizing about you, I know that you can feel that. And it's probably, I'm hearing also that you might be feeling called towards doing or maybe that's why you're feeling called towards it's something like or self-destructing somebody feels call, is feeling called towards i don't fucking oh my god okay now what is going on here but i feel like also somebody has a new love and a proposal that's coming in and it's like somebody is going to give you what everything that you want because you deserve it and it's on the, there's another message that's coming through where it's like somebody it's like don't lose your vision like what you want you you can have you will have in fact what I'm also hearing is that what you want you what you have seen in all of the visions you've seen your entire life were always meant to manifest somebody used to have visions when they were very young you know uh, you know maybe that would kind of pop in and out I'm hearing and um, this is these this is the truth this is this is your life. This is the truth of your life. And these visions were and are meant to manifest. So hold on to those visions. Okay. Um, hold on to that hope for, you know, this new future. I do feel like somebody, something is going to happen to somebody where in a very positive way where it's like you, it's almost like it was a fantasy, like fan, fantasy or I was going to say fanatical but like some sort of like a fantasy world it's almost like I feel like a, a fantasy world is almost going to open not a fantasy but it's like it's like it's something beyond your wildest dreams almost it's like it's like honestly it's even like because I'm, I'm hearing also like hold on to your vision but also like keep the vision um so that it is malleable not malleable is not the right word but so that um because honestly what you're manifesting for yourself or what you deserve and what the universe wants to give you it's like it is almost beyond what your wildest fantasy might even be it almost is it's beyond it's almost it's almost like you can't even envision it because honestly what i'm see, what i'm hearing is it's like somebody is so not like it's like what it sounds like what it sounds like is is that somebody is so not materialistic, it's like the vision that they're seeing, it's like, it's just, it's not even... The universe wants to give you so much more. So, just take what resonates, okay? Ace of Cups, though. Um, true love with oneself and or true love with somebody else. The Ace of Cups can be having a new relationship with oneself, too. Um, and or a new relationship with somebody else as well. So just take what resonates. I do, I pretty, the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, I, um, somebody's, I was also going to say pretty. Somebody's very pretty. Um, but I just, something might be happening on the new moon too for some of you guys. We've got the Cancer new moon coming in. Um, <coughs> interesting. I'm hearing that, um, there's been a, a lot of cathartic release that's been going on and uh, during the Cancer New Moon. <coughs> we're, re 
really going to be able to put that into words. <laughs> We're really going to be able to, um, cause I'm seeing somebody like journaling, it's like somebody is going to, or we're, I think energetically, we're all going to, to really be able to, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry, <coughs> Mary, like intellectualize things, the, things that were very emotional are going to be, we're going to be able to intellectualize them a, a, a much easier, okay, is what I'm hearing here, <coughs> excuse me, oh my gosh, <coughs> somebody's throat chakra, didn't I say that, where it's like somebody feels like they can't speak? <coughs> That's my throat chakra. I'm telling you, somebody feels like they can't speak. Somebody fucking needs to speak up. Somebody needs to stand up for themselves. Somebody needs to stand up for themselves. <laughs> and or somebody is, is calling in karmic justice, but just do what feels safe, too, okay? But six of swords here, transition, movement, change, travel, moving on, okay? <coughs> All right, I think I'm going to leave. I'm going to re leave the reading there because <laughs> I need some water now. Oh my god. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope that this helped anybody, all of you, somebody. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> love you guys. Until next time. Thanks for being here. <laughs>